So now, Yeladim, we've just finished with Purim. We learned about we learned about a different kind of a king. Now we're learning about a new king, and his name is King Pharaoh. Remember, he wore the kings with crowns on their head and fancy jewels and clothing. They lived in a beautiful big palace. This king's name was King Pharaoh. And usually kings take care of the people in their lands, but this king was not a nice man at all. He was bossy and he made people do hard work for him. And he never said thank you. And everybody had to listen to King Pharaoh because he was the king. One day, King Pharaoh decided he wanted big buildings and big cities and lots and lots of big buildings. And he was going to use these buildings to store things in. These buildings were built with heavy bricks that have a texture of a sand like cement, which reminds us of the charoset on our, t on our table. But who's going to build these buildings? King Pharaoh had an idea. He called the Jewish people who were living in his land and he told them that they had to build these buildings. These buildings were hard work and he didn't give the people a choice. He told them that they had to do it because they were slaves. Do you know what a slave is? A slave is someone who is forced to do something and they've got no choice. He said, you've got to do it. And they couldn't say they didn't want to. They just had to do it. So these Jewish people had to build pyramids. No questions asked. That's what they wanted to do. I want to show you what a pyramid looks like. And then I'm going to ask you to build a pyramid with some material. Um. Okay, I'll find the pyramid right now, after this. So, today we have big machineries and big trucks to help us do the job. Why do we need this? Because the materials were so heavy and hard. But in those days, long time ago, there were no machines and there were no trucks to help build these buildings. The Jewish people had to do everything by themselves with their bodies. Now, these towers that King Pharaoh ordered the Jewish people to build were made of big rocks. Heavy, heavy rocks. The rocks were even bigger than the people. They were so large. And the Jews didn't have any machinery. They had to carry those heavy loads on their backs. And lift up these heavy stones with their arms. And push and pull. And all that lifting made them feel so tired and so hot. King Herod didn't give the Jewish people ready-made bricks. They had to make their own bricks. They had to take sand and water and make their own cement. It was very, very hard work, and the Jewish people were so tired. Their bodies were hurting them, and they were so sad. What do you do if you're sad? Do you want to help people? You do. But King Pharaoh, oh no. He didn't care how they felt. He just wanted them to work. Remember our song we sang? Dig, 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 dig your shovel deep. Dig, dig, dig. There's no time to sleep. For it's work, 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 every day and every night. For it's work, 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 when it's day and when it's night. And the Jewish people said, please, can we take a rest from this hard work? King Pharaoh said, no. He made them work even harder. And the Jewish people felt so weak and so hungry. They needed to eat and they needed to drink. And they said, please, please, can we have our meals? King Pharaoh didn't care. This is no time for you to relax and have your meals. All I care about is how you build these beautiful buildings. King Pharaoh didn't want his slaves, the Jewish people, to take time for relaxing meals. He only let them eat simple food. Matzah. Matzah is made from just two ingredients. Can you guess what it is? Flour and water. It's plain food. It's not yummy, but that's all they could eat. No fruits. No vegetables, no cakes or delicious meals, just plain matzah. And this made their stomachs hungry for food that they did not get anymore.